Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to check the stabilization in Sony A6700 uh, and I'm going to use uh, two lenses for this. It's Tamron 70 to 180 and Sony 11 mm. So I want to check uh, how the stabilization, standard stabilization and active steady shot works uh, in a6700 in a wide angle and in a, a telephoto uh, frame so I also will check how uh, low shutter speed I can get on the exact uh, focal length like 70 and 180 and at the first we are going to check uh, 11 millimeters on a6700 right now we've got stabilization off uh, so that's how it looking. So I'm just uh, barely walking uh, around uh, holding uh, it in a hand. It's like almost like a vlogging situation. Right now we've got standard, steady, standard stali stabilization. It's a little bit uh, better, but uh, not too much. I think that uh, it's more for small moves, small jitters. And right now we've got active steady shot from uh, A6700 and with 11 millimeters. Uh, f1.8 from Sony it works just beautiful and I think that's a great combo uh, if you want to get something like vlog situation especially uh, let's check also at uh, the 70 millimeters and stabilization while filming it so right now we've got 70 millimeters on a Tamron 70 to 180 and we've got stabilization off right now Right now we've got stabilization on, it's a standard stabilization, so uh, it looks much better and in a second we will see uh, active, steady shot, active steady shot, it's a little bit crop as you can see and it gives you uh, also a very nice kind of natural movement but it's also very good stabilized, uh, you cannot see any major shakiness. So I think that it will be very helpful. And let's uh, check also 180. And right now we've got also a handheld situation. Right now we've got no stabilization on in a camera. In a second we will see standard steady shot. So it's a stabilization you can get from sensor. So this is right here and right now you can see it. And also in a second you will see again a little bit crop in with active steady shot right now it's about 10% and this is how that stabilization looks right now so also very very uh, nice feature I think in a photography mode you can also use a standard stabilization for getting a slower shutter speed and still getting a sharp image and here we will see uh, the result I've got it's 1 to 200 it's without any stabilization and I've got on a 70 millimeters uh, sharp image and with stabilization standard stabilization I was able to catch 1 to 50 uh, of a second to get still a sharp image and on a 180 millimeters it was also 1 to 200 uh, of a second and with uh, sensor stabilization I've got 1 to 15th of the second and I've got still a uh, sharp image so that's it guys for today it was a uh, just a quick test of Sony a6700 and its stabilization I hope that you will like subscribe and comment below thank you for watching guys see ya